Apostle Paul was one of the most persecuted apostles in the Bible. And today I put it to you. Prophet Joshua remains the most persecuted man of God in the whole world. I didn't say one of the most. I said the most persecuted man of God in the whole world. In case you're meeting me for the first time, my name is M. Toby, pastor with Arctic Ministry. So why was he the most persecuted? Simple. He came with an unusual power that the things God used him to do was never done by anybody while he was yet alive. And they counted it to be strange. Yet, they believed the miracles, the signs, the wonders they saw in the Bible and also believed the word of Jesus in the book of John chapter 14, verse 12. What you are about to see, time of miracle, is to glorify the name Jesus. And uh, I want you to believe that Jesus is alive. Seeing it, accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. She cannot walk, she cannot do anything. The answer is apportation, but when Jesus says yes, no one can say no. How are you feeling? He's paining me. It's paining you. The only recommendation doctors could give Mrs. Ajaybola was amputation. But Prophet T.B. Joshua begins to perform a spiritual amputation, cutting off sin and its penalties from her life. In the powerful name of Jesus Christ, you can see the instant action and reaction take place as Prophet T.B. Joshua moves his hand under the check and conduct of the Holy Spirit, causing her leg to move uncontrollably. This is a mighty sign and wonder. Walk in the name of Jesus. Oh. Mrs. Ajaybola supports herself as strength that she didn't have before returns to her body. Sorry, stand right. Touch. Touch. Okay? Move. Amazingly, Mrs. Ajaybola stands on her own two feet and begins walking with the leg that was once stricken with leg cancer. I've received Jesus. Yes, you are sir. Healed to heal others. Yes, sir. Touch your leg. The other one. I'm not there, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Here I am. I'm not there. I'm not there. I'm here. I'm here. Mm. What happened? Huh? I said, what happened? Uh, power happened. I said, what happened? You say power. What is power? <laughs> huh? Mm, that is all. This is what we have been talking about. This is just it. What happened is that Jesus immediately came into the scene. What happened? Jesus immediately came to the scene. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Well, they told you that if you watch him on our TV, you would be initiated. <laughs> but that's the life of the pit of hell. They only said that so that you would listen to what they say and not know the truth. The fact is that if you have been watching Emmanuel TV and have ever listened to Prophet T.B. Joshua, you would have known the true story behind his exploits and the power. So, Prophet T.B. Joshua did not just come from anywhere. He did not just have power. He had a time of consecration with God. Near the Holy Spirit imparted him with power from on high. Do you know that Prophet T.B. Joshua went for 40 days and 40 nights fasting and prayers. Oh, they never told you that. Now watch this. The man of God said that by the time the glory of God is revealed in his ministry and people from other countries start coming, he would no longer have the time to visit this prayer mountain and that in the future, he would have his own prayer mountain. This is a picture of Prophet T.B. Joshua praying for people after just having returned from a 40-day and 40-night fast at the prayer mountain. 
During the early years of his ministry, Prophet T.B. Joshua did not have a vehicle to move around in. He walked almost everywhere he went for two years. The children surrounding Prophet T.B. Joshua are among those he gathered to follow him as he went to form the first synagogue church of all nations. In fact, I don't know where to start <laughs> by coming to your midst. In fact, uh, it's just to lay a foundation. Today, we start the synagogue here. Amen. Prophet T.B. Joshua's ministry characterized by deep love for God and for people. All the things you saw him doing, giving to the needy, blessing these and that, it wasn't a show off. But because he knew where he came from, and he understand exactly what it means to lack. And I tell you, the easiest way to know a man of God is to check out if he bears the fruit of the Holy Spirit, which amongst them is love, kindness, gentleness, and the rest. And of course, you could see all these qualities in the life of Prophet T.B. Joshua. Everybody steps forward to lend a hand, including T.B. Joshua, who joins the team to carry and distribute the hundreds of bags of rice. How many people do you have? Are you caring for? Don't say until I have big, that are fatherless, orphans, poor, Help! You think of huge money you are spending, but vanity upon vanity. Your money cannot speak for you, but these are the people that will speak for you. TB Joshua gave each of the students two bags of rice to take back with them to the university to see them through until their next meeting. Congratulations. And uh, I want to say thank you for it very much for accepting me as your friend. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you sir. for accepting me as your friend. Thank you for accepting me as your friend. It's a real privilege having you as my friend. Oh, thank you very much for accepting God bless our offer. You, sir. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Ah. God bless you. Uh, I'm very happy. God bless you, sir. The next time you hear any negative thing about somebody, be careful because you may hear it from an enemy. Prophet T.B. Joshua was a man of God and his legacy still lives on and is being carried on by the wife and other evangelists left behind. Thank you for being part of today's broadcast. My name is Pontomi. God bless you. See you again next time.